Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Demartini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody, what a great show. I'm telling you, we are kicking it up here. I'm Dr. Pat. You're listening to the Dr. Pat Show on Transformation Talk Radio, on the Transformation Talk Radio Network. Thank you all for tuning us in, turning us on. What a great show. We got Benny. We got angels in the house. Angels. Angels in the house. I am so thrilled about today's show because, you know, I'm always wondering for myself how Linda does this, how she schedules folks the way she does. And, you know, I'm I'm in a very, very um, deep place of gratitude right now. It was so wonderful to meet all of you uh, uh, over the weekend. It was really great on Saturday to connect with those of you that came to Lynn Brown's event. And it was great to know that you all are out there and so supportive. Uh, and thank you for the letters that you've been sending. It's just wonderful because in the world of radio, like we say, we don't get out very much. In a studio, headset on, microphone going, and introducing you to people like my special guest today. Someone that has said yes. Joanne Brokas has said yes. Award-winning, best-selling author, angel expert, intuitive energy healer, teacher. That's why these phone lines are opening like now, 1-800-930-2814. You know what? Here's the deal. Childhood, she communicated with her guardian angel. She did. But what is it about that? How did she get through that childhood? Uh, Actually, I think I gave out the wrong telephone number, 1-800-930-2819. For those of you out there, listen, when you start to have an experience at a very young age, right, and you look at the angelic realm, and you start to do that at a young age, then you start to communicate. Then you start to know that angels are everywhere. Then you start to look and say, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something about this that the world needs to know about. Whether you are Joanne, whether you are somebody that is listening to the show and you've had similar experiences and are afraid to think about it, talk about it, she's passionate about teaching all of us how to connect with our angels, how to develop this intuitive awareness, how to develop our own healing abilities. Why? Because right now in the world, that is what we really, really are, are, are needing to do. It's what we're being called the call forth. Today, I get to talk with you about a book that she has written, another book, Angel Prayers. You know, when Linda had this book, uh, you know, come in and we looked at this because we work with a lot of different, you know, agencies that bring incredible people forth. And Linda said, would you like to talk about angel prayers? I said, living it, breathing it, sleeping it. I would love to do that. And that's what we're doing today. And this power of God consciousness, this divine light that comes through, this passion that Joanne has for communicating and connecting, sometimes that's all we need is to have someone help us open a portal so that we too can show up and shine. Today, get ready for the show. Yeah. Angel prayers. What does that mean? Joanne, welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. Oh, thank you so much, Pat. It's a pleasure to be with you. You know, I I wanted to talk with you uh, about your life, but I also wanted to talk with you about this book. Um, You know, often we feel stuck. We feel like we don't know how to take that next step. And boy, have you put together a guidebook 
for just about anything. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, which yeah. of the angels asked you to do this? Do you know, Pat, it has been a deep desire within my own soul, so mm. divinely inspired, and it's not... It's not even kind of which one of the angels asked me to do it. It was more of I'm I'm in tune with my maybe higher self and divine purpose, and it, I feel like it's in harmony with God's plan, with uh. the divine plan of creation, just to add light into the world and to help others to be able to tap into their own light power to overcome all adversities. Mm. Well, you know, uh, angel prayers, I, I want to ask you about this because I think we, we forget that we can, we can pray and we can pray to angels. And, you know, I wanted to ask you in your own life experience, I can only imagine what it's like to be you. I will never really know, but I can't imagine it. And uh, yet at the same time, you really are bringing this conversation, very spiritual conversation down to a level that everyone on the planet can understand. Because I think what you're inviting us to do is say, wait a minute, it's not just for me. We can all do this. Is that what, is that what today's message is about, that each of us can communicate? Absolutely. Because it is not about the person. It is not about the teacher. It is not about the healer. It is about our own souls. We're all alike. We're all um, connected universally through the divine power of love. We're all part of each other and we can all help to light up each other's lives. But initially, we begin by lighting up our own, overcoming our own um, challenges, setbacks, uh, you know, basically just raising our light levels within us to be um, a lamp for the angels to bless us and to bless others through us. But ultimately it is we're all able to take charge of our own energies and our own lights and be able to heal our consciousness ourselves. Mm. You know, I want to ask you, what was this like for you when you discovered that there was something that you were being called to do that first time? Can you, do you remember that like it was yesterday? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, I'm not going to um, beat about the bush here. I really didn't feel I was equipped to do it because, um, for a start, I was constantly impressed to start practicing your writing, practice your writing, practice your writing. And I kept ignoring that. And I <laughs> love writing. In school, for instance, I all of my friends, they, they went and took childcare. Um, when, when I was really young and I wanted to I didn't want to have anything to do with children because I'm not I wasn't drawn to having children in this lifetime and even at such a young age or about 11 years old I decided I wanted to take office practice and learn to type not knowing that that was going to be a major influence in my future because uh, everything that I've learned from such a young age has been amplified. I've continued to study. I've continued to research. I've continued to deepen my connection to God and the angels through prayer. So all of this had to be placed into a book. But of course, I've got to have the um, the insight that I've got to know how to write. It's not just about editors helping you you need to get those spiritual truths out in an easy style and manner and I was impressed to write constantly messages I used to receive from other uh, healing teachers they would give me a golden pen and then say your angels are inspiring you to write they need you to get this wisdom out there and I was always a little apprehensive about writing but the truth of the word I wrote um, seven books I've written now and all traditionally published. So definitely they had a plan in my getting this information out there. Well, yeah, definitely there is a plan to this. And one of the things that I, I want to just ask you is today when we open up the phone lines, we're opening up the phone lines for a very, very specific reason. Because what we're going to be doing with everyone today is exploring this world of angel prayers. Tell us a little bit about that if you would, Joanne. Absolutely. So angels are messengers from God. So when we reach out to God in prayer, 
the angels are always going to be participating in this, whether we are aware of this or not. And God has given his angels charge over us to help us in all our ways. All our ways means every conceivable moral human way known to mankind. So we can literally ask for help and guidance in any area of our life and with our health. So angel prayers are connecting to specific um, divine frequencies of light that each archangel or angel embodies and these wonderful um, frequencies. They um, light up our consciousness, entering into our nervous system to make corrections on uh, errors in consciousness. They help with forgiveness. They help with love. They help with breaking, um, you know, generational curses and things like that so that we can come, we can light up back into our own divine power. It's basically activating or reactivating our divine DNA. So we remember how powerful we truly are to overcome all of our shadow natures. I love it. And today we're going to give all of you out there connecting you uh, with the prayer that is perfectly suited for you for today. 1-800-930-2819. Give us a call. 1-800-930-2819. When we come back, we're going to be talking with, we're going to be talking with Joanne about what does this mean? Angel prayers, communing with angels to help restore Health, love, prosperity, joy, and enlightenment. Yes, all of the above. Well, how do we do it? What might be an emotional healing prayer? And what archangel is it, Uriel? Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. Hey everyone, meet my friends at the Maka team. The ancient Inca root vegetable maca is known worldwide for its huge array of health benefits. As a family-run company of true maca specialists, the maca team is here to bring you the best maca the Peruvian mountains has to offer. Yellow maca used to promote endurance, vitality, fertility, hormone health, and much more is on sale now. I love it. Visit themacateam.com to order yours now. Themacateam.com. The Angel Lady dot net. 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 One eight hundred three two three one seven nine zero. One eight hundred three two three one seven nine zero. Sue Storm. The Angel Lady dot net. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie Deleuze at info at ronniedeleuzeonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie Deleuze, your partner in wellness. 
Hey everybody, this is Dr. Pat. Many of you have heard me talk about the Lyme disease epidemic going on right now in the world. I want to tell you about my friends at Results RNA. They have now created an entire Lyme support system for immune system support, detoxification, rejuvenation, and neurological healing. Please visit ResultsRNA.com to learn more. And for first-time orders, you'll receive a special 10% discount. All you have to do is type in Dr. Pat at checkout. Hey, everybody, welcome back. You know, this is really absolutely amazing because we do forget sometimes, Joanne. We really forget. You know, we forget that we can call upon our angels and get some help here, right? And so, you know, there are a lot of things that you do in the world, right? You know, you're working with people. You have courses you teach. What is the best way for folks to find out more about you, but also to get a copy of the book? Well, you know, um, they can visit my website. Mm -hmm. It is joannebrokers.com, and that's B-R-O-C-A-S, so joannebrokers.com. And the book is soon to be released. It's now available for pre-order. It is selling all around the world. Um, You can get it on Amazon in the America, Australia, the UK, and in all good bookstores. But um, if it's not there, you you can order it. You can pre-order it, but it's due out the end of this month. And actually, today, I have a copy in front of me today during the show. Um, while all of you are calling in, you're going to really get connected with Joanne with some of these prayers. But also, I would like to share some of these if we have time later in, in the show. But right now, Joanne, I think, Benny, I think we've got the phone lines are filled. So let's go to the phone. Yeah, Maria from Seattle. Welcome to the show, Maria. What's going on? Hey, Hi, Maria. thank you. Thank you so much, Joanne. I love your voice, by the way. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> so I, I, I just want to see what angel prayers might be out there for me in the area of love in my life. Right. Okay. Well, Archangel Samuel works with the divine frequency, so the divine light stream of God's love. So we can use this love we, through the power of prayer. We can ask to receive this love to make a change in our consciousness to help remove um, anything that is usually trust issues, fear of trusting, um, mm. or anything that is preventing us or sabotaging us from experiencing the love that we deserve. Um, not love that's going to let us down or love that's going to um, cause us uh, trauma in any way because we're not healed, but love that is uh, unconditional, love that is kind, love that is forgiving and love that accepts us for who we are. So Archangel Samuel with the rose pink divine light frequency can help you. Now, let me just ask you, um, is it to, is this love to uh, help you attract a soulmate love or or a person that you like, or is it to help um, mend or repair or fix a relationship you're already in? No, it would be to attract new New healthy um, love. I'm, I'm ready yeah, for that. Yeah, healthy love. Yes, healthy love. That's exactly yeah. what we want. Healthy love. So ultimately, this archangel and there's a um, also there's an intuitive divine like message that follows through on this prayer that's in the book with Archangel Samuel to help you understand more about maybe why um, love doesn't come when you when you wish it to come because. We have all these energy fields around us and we can actually push love away from us. So, you know, it's, it's like blocking love out or suppressing love from entering into us because ultimately we fear that we're going to be let down and hurt because initially somebody else, you know, somebody else has let us down and hurt us and we don't want to re-experience that same pain. So mm-hmm. what the prayer does is takes you through all the levels of releasing this pain, whether it be um, soul healing, which is inner healing, emotional healing, this timeline, or whether it be an aspect of um, ancestor timeline or your generational in, in a spiritual influence, it's going to do all a lot of clearing for, from you. But also it has to bring you to the point where you love and accept yourself for who you really are. 
And when you begin to love and accept yourself for who you really are, you will open your heart energy and begin to attract the right kind of love in. So it's ultimately learning to forgive yourself, forgive anyone else who's hurt you, and ask forgiveness of a divine power if you've caused any hurt. And without a shadow of a doubt, because your shadow self will be healed, you will attract divine, true love into your life. And Lovely. it's just... It can be that you need to pray a couple of different prayers because when you read the book, when you look through the book, you'll find that Archangel Raphael works with certain issues. Archangel Zadkael with a violet light flame works with transmitting certain issues and forgiveness. So there's all different prayers to help you with specific needs. But now that I'm speaking to you, I know that you're ready to receive um, a new relationship because you wouldn't even be willing to ask if you weren't ready so you might have initially suppressed this but you're now ready to receive one so the angels are already there shining light around your soul bringing you the wisdom to be able to um, receive your heartfelt dream and desire and it will mm. happen it will happen Maria don't worry it will happen uh, thank you thank you I appreciate this Wow. I mean, I love this conversation because I'm telling you, Joanne, I don't think there's any mistake that, you know, you have been tapped on the shoulders by the angels to say, you know what, take this out in the world and help other people understand that we all, too, can connect, can connect with our angels. And we're going to talk about the many ways you do that in the book. Uh, Mr. Benny, who do we have? Uh, yeah, it's uh, let's go to Naomi. She's calling in from Seattle. Naomi, welcome to the show. Hey, Naomi. Hello. Welcome to the show. Mm-hmm. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for taking my call. I'm interested in some financial help. Some financial help? Mm-hmm. Oh, financial help, yes. Hi, Naomi. Hi, how yeah. are you, doing? I'm good, thank you. With your financial um with your finances now, would you be wanting to increase them? Would you be wanting to clear off um, any debt? Is there any? Re- is there a reason why you? Do you personally know if it, um, any reason why your finances are blocked? Um, you know, I, at, on some level, I think maybe it was a soul contract that I had in maybe a past life. And maybe right, okay. I, and I might have brought it up. I might have brought it into this life, but okay, okay. things are bad. But they could definitely okay. stand in right. a so re. You, uh, so you actually feel it's connected to a different timeline rather than in right. this timeline because in your current timeline, it's so there's always been an issue there. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, because sometimes... Not really. It's just, if, just not flowing financial... like it's it. All right, okay, because sometimes in this timeline, in our present timeline, if there is um, a financial issue, sometimes this is only temporary, and it's basically there because we're, we're planting seeds for it to grow later. It's temporary. But if it's continuously persisting and it never, ever seems to flourish or turn into something... Um, bigger and better, then it is connected to unresolved issues that can be from previous generations, not necessarily past lives, because remember, we're all connected. So sometimes what we think is a past life is actually a generational memory, um, an ancestor memory that you feel is your own, and it's actually belonging to your ancestors. So because we're all connected, remember, um, when two particles separate, there's still an energetic connection between them, and we're all entangled in the oneness of God's divine love. So what um, our ancestors do will affect us if it's not unresolved. So we actually do take on the errors of consciousness from our ancestor. So there is specific prayers you would need to work with Archangel Michael and you would need to work with Archangel Zadkael because there would need to be a prayer of transmutation, forgiveness, um, freeing your ancestors to their to their own good, for, asking forgiveness for their errors in consciousness, freeing them from um, freeing them and you from this situation so that 
you can now realign with divine abundance, which is your divine right. It is absolutely your divine right, Naomi, that you are abundant and prosperous in all your ways. And the only reason why we are not is because of energetic interference, which can be spirit, you know, the spiritual interference as well. So there are pro the specific prayers in this book, in my angel book, that can help you to do, you know, exactly that. There's also... Um, if we go into a more, I'm going to take it to a more, a higher divine vibrational frequency now, working with the Christ consciousness, right? Jesus Christ had no yeah. genealogy. So um, no mother, no father, divine DNA. So what we do, we deny the DNA from our past eras and we align with the DNA of Christ and then we immediately add light to our consciousness. Now, this and others like it are in the book to help you, but you do what what I'm basically saying is it can change your finances when you get the right prayers and wisdom and understanding. You do not need to suffer throughout your life in poverty consciousness. You can realign with God's divine abundance that is willed for your life. Health, happiness, wholeness, prosperity and abundance is the will for your life and god wants this for you and he does it through his archangels all right okay that Got makes that? sense yes thank you very much that that brought some yeah because you got to breathe that in i know pat i talk pretty fast and i do talk a lot so if you want me to no, slow down I'm, no i i'm telling you i got it you know, I think the thing that happens sometimes with all of us, especially when it's about finances, is that sometimes we hear that and we hear it from afar, meaning that, you know, here the angels are and they're saying, wait a minute, I'm here, I'm doing it. And we're kind of like stuck on, oh, but that may be for Joanne or for Pat, that can't be for me. I mean, are you really clear that maybe the angels are saying I can have instantaneous prosperity and abundance? Wow, let's take a short break. When we come back, more about that, because the book has so many prayers in it. We're going to take your calls, 1-800-930-2819. Take a short break, everybody. We'll be right back with the show. Joanne Bruckus joining me here today. An A to Z guide, angel prayers. And by the way, I've got another instant message coming in. I guess today it's about the money. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Do you want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones? Travel the world? Live spontaneously? Get ready, because the Chip Justice Show is here. Hosts Dr. Pat Basile and Chip Justice can help you build meaningful success while embracing life. Living a life you love is the end game in this new, inspirational, and empowering show. Positive changes for a life you'll love. Tune in every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit PositiveChangeInstitute.co for more information. Tune in to the Angels and Answer Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. 
Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Ness. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to strengthen relationships with others? Do you want to improve your financial status? Colette Marie Steffen is partnering with Mark Kettenbach to bring you an energetic upgrade online experience launching in April. Unfold and develop your full potential. Visit energeticupgrade.com today for more information. That's energeticupgrade.com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to the Dr. Pat Show. Joanne Broca is joining me here today. And I want to say, look, this really is an A to Z guide of angel prayers. You know, it is like it says right here, communing with angels to help restore health, love, prosperity, joy, and enlightenment. And Joanne, um, let's give out the website again. And then I want to share with you an instant message that came in because I think it's perfect for today's show. Absolutely. Um, you can reach me and read all about the angels and the healing articles on my website, which is joannebrocas.com, J-O-A-N-N-E-B-R-O-C-A-S, joannebrocas.com. Please come and visit me. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're going to also cover some other prayers for those of you out there that have been trying to call in. You know, we've got the phone lines open for you now. 1-800-930-2819. I have just received a very touching instant message from someone, and I would love to read it because you and I were talking about this during the break. Yeah. And the message is, um, uh, you know, please... Please share an angel prayer to relieve me of my worry, my fear, and about pros- bringing prosperity in our lives. Please relieve me of my worry and my fear okay. and bring prosperity in our lives. How touching okay. is that, Joanne? That is, that is touching. And this person is obviously under a lot of um, fear. Fear energy suppresses prosperity. It naturally suppresses success and fear of prosperity is often linked to fear of success or fear of shining fear of shining your light um archangel gabriel is brilliant and even though prosperity in my book overlined with archangel raphael remember i said we often work with several prayers now archangel gabriel is connected to our energy fields and especially to our base chakra, our root chakra, fear, security in life, abundance, you know, um, getting our needs met, making sure that we're safe and secure, financial prosperity, careers, the ability to shine, ambition. All of this is either a fear of failure or a fear of success. It's two sides of the, two polarities of the, of the same thing. There is a need for us to release all of this energetic um, contamination from our systems so that we can breathe divine peace through us and be in a place of neutrality so that we can then start co-creating. And with the co-creating, then I move to Archangel Raphael. So I would suggest that this person that's mentioned about fear work with Archangel Gabriel to clear their energy frequencies, to purify their fears, to eliminate their worries, and then work with Archangel Raphael to help them create a new, prosperous, healthy mindset that is in so divine truth, that is in harmony with the perfect original divine design. You are meant to be prosperous. You are meant to be healthy. You are meant to be whole. All of these fears are illusionary from our shadow nature. 
So when we heal our shadow self, then we are going to blossom. We're going to flourish. So the, um, if, you, if you get a copy of the book, within the book, you will find prayers from Archangel Gabriel and Inner Child Healing. Um, anything that's kind of knocked us out of our comfort zone and made us fear life instead of have excitement to express our, our brilliance you're going to find in the in the prayer book because it's it's all about this is so true mm-hmm. we don't get often because we don't ask so when yeah. we pray we're not asking for what we need we right. so we need to be more specific in our prayers and we need to pray, pray more than one prayer and if you think well that prayer didn't work it didn't get answered you the what the worst thing we can do is think hey we didn't deserve it because that's total rubbish that's not true what it means is be like Sherlock Holmes. You've got some more digging to do. Let's do some further prayers. Uh, where does this trace back? Is it in this life, my timeline, my childhood? Is it in, connected to a uh, past life or generational ancestor life? Because yeah, you can find it. it it's, it's there to find. It's there to heal. It's there to overcome. And then you will be free of worry. Um, you do not need to say, oh, I can never be free of worry. It's my nature. It's not your nature. That would be the shadow nature. Your nature is brilliance. It is light. It is success. It is health. Your nature is your divine DNA, not your shadow nature. You can overcome anything through the power of prayer. And, you know, we stop doing things. You know, we think, well, wait a minute. I really want to take that trip. But we don't take that trip because we're so afraid. You yeah. know, we think that there are other, I just, we just finished a show, you know, with Laura Hollick and we were talking about how we get to express ourselves, but more importantly, what happens when we don't express ourselves, Yeah, you That's know, when exactly when we're being called to, you know, do one thing or another and we don't because we're so afraid to do it. So thank you. How beautiful that is. Thank you so much. And what we're going to do here, Joanne, is we're going to skip the next break because we've got a couple of people waiting to chat with you. So, Mr. Benny, I'm going to kick it back to you. All right. We'll take Ivy. Ivy's calling in from Bothell. Ivy, welcome to the show. Hi, Ivy. Hi. I would just like an angel prayer for my future um, and the abundance and creativity and everything you've talked about today is Hitting, hitting home for me. That's been a good help for you. That's great. Uh, um, hi, Ivy. Now, with um, the angel prayer for you, future, you can also just it can, the, if it's not specific, if it's for just to be having blessings in your future. What you do for the future, you always ask for the present moment because. What you are in the present moment is what helps to create the future. So if you want more abundance in the future, if you want continued health in the future, the thing that we do is we take um, prayer through gratitude, Thanksgiving prayers for whatever it is you've got and you want to amplify. So if you've got good health, you continuously thank the angels and God for your health and that you're able to shine and grow and evolve. Um, But there's also specific prayers that you can do to amplify uh, abundance, prosperity, and to ask for divine inspiration and ideas because sometimes we, we are so creative and yet we fail to tap into that creativity. Sometimes what we need to do is to pray and ask to receive divine inspiration to be able to create joy and happiness within our own lives and to touch the lives of others. When you're a blessing for someone else, it automatically blesses your own light. Your light shines. When your light shines, you attract greater opportunities for success and abundance so you know there's not one specific um prayer it would be numerous prayers of thanksgiving numerous um affirmations of affirming that you know who you are in god that you are a divine um light of god that you have divine authority and power you can decree you can use the divine power and authority within you that you continually build through prayer, wisdom, understanding, contemplation. You build it. So you, when you build it, your divine authority grows and you have dominion over everything. You have 
because you're you're a part of God. You have dominion, creative dominion. You have dominion over health issues. You can command your body to heal. You can command those bones in your neck to move back into alignment. Um, and it works. It, that's because you're building your spiritual power. So if you're typically happy, what I would suggest are prayers of enlightenment that you build your spiritual power so you keep creating even more joy and happiness. Build your spiritual power through prayers of enlightenment, and you'll find those in the book. Okay. Wonderful. That's, I that's know. very powerful. <laughs> it is. And you know what I love about that? We can build our spiritual power, just like for you know the last person that called in about the fear. You know, We can start to build it one yeah. brick at a time. We can do that. And you'll have dominion over your fear. You can absolutely, through the power of um, divine connections and the divine light within your own soul, you have dominion over your fear. You can cast that fear out yourself. You don't need to go to someone else to do it. You can cast it out yourself because you are merging. To build your spiritual power, what you do is you merge your own soul. You mean, Because we're, we're, not, we're human. We're in human, human bodies. We're limited to the degree that we're awakened. So the more you're awakened to your own power, the more power you receive. But to the degree that you are, you can still amplify it by joining forces with the divine light team, I call it. The divine light team are the glorious archangels, the Christ consciousness. So when you join forces with the Holy Spirit, Christ consciousness, the archangels, the divine light, you're amplifying that small bit of power you've got and it's magnificent oh yeah wow yeah. thank you ivy thank you so yes, much and by the way there is a prayer in the book uh here if you get a copy of the book uh, there's a on page 100 in the book there's just this holy spirit prayer that is amazing and i think we'll do it later on in the show so thank you so much ivy thank you Mr. Benny, uh, why don't we go to? Why don't we stay with the phones? Sounds good. We'll roll on to Alexa. She's calling in from Seattle. Hi, Alexa. Hi, Pat. Thanks for taking this call. You um, bet. How can we help you really today? Very inspiring, um, particular show. And yeah. I wanted to um, um, to ask about prayers to. Um, um, well, I do quite a bit of my own healing work. Um, I meditate regularly, and I find two things. One is that I'm kind of getting tired with prayers out to others, and and so this particular call that you just had before may be helpful. But um, I just want to know maybe also, um, in addition to prayers for helping to heal in general, like just with the energy that's going on right now, um, the planetary energy, the change of time that we're going through, um, and then maybe something that might be appropriate to give me a little bit more strength and um, and uh, perseverance. I'm just feeling a little bit burned out. Great. Thank you. Okay. Um, right. Now, if I understood that rightly, you want to, you basically want to, amplify your prayer power for when you send healing out to others and you want to ha- have more energy yourself. Is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. And it mostly is sending out prayer to others, uh, but somehow maybe I am not getting the right prayer or something because I feel like I'm doing it and it's not really doing anything so much. Oh, well, okay. So I absolutely just, yeah, just, love it's this like, question. Just have emotion. You have emotion. Yeah, that's going to drain you. Do you know, I love this question because I'm absolutely passionate about praying for other people and seeing results. Because let me tell you something. I'm not happy until I see results. If I'm praying for someone, I want to know that those people are being healed. And the results are fascinating through the power of prayer. But what's happening here is if you are feeling emotional or tired, you are getting your own self in the way rather than being uh, just a clear channel because you need to be able to hold 
and anchor divine light frequencies because we're a channel we need to have enough light in us and enough energy within us and our circuits within us to be able to hold the power um and to be able to amplify the power and if you are not maybe it's loads of different ways there's common sense ways as well right our physical health can if we're not physically strong because maybe we're neglecting our health in some way we're not maybe drinking enough water or we're not eating well or we're not exercising that's going to drain a little bit of our prayer power okay our vitality that's just common sense issues that i've got to mention and then there could be energetic issues yourself because anybody can pray and prayers will be heard and answered. But for them to be powerful, there's ways that we can help ourselves for the light to come through us, okay? What you do is you don't tune into their energy because that is going to connect you with somebody's energy who's not feeling too good. This is what energy healers do, okay? Rather than spiritual healers. It connects you with somebody's energies who may be down, depressed, or, or they have low vitality, um because a lot of healers pick up energy in this way because they are tuning in to see what's wrong when you work with the archangels and you developed high divine connections you ask the archangels for intuitive guidance rather than tuning into the person and the common sense thing is you ask the person what's wrong with them now uh let's say the person's suffering from really bad migraines um and they just they constantly no matter what they do whether they see a doctor or go to therapy or uh have a massage their migraines are still there okay or chiropractor they go see a chiropractor their migraines are still there so we then the um healer because over distance remember we're all connected through through oneness we're all connected our energies are connected to everybody which means we're able to help anybody and this is why the angels can work through us to reach someone over distance and time. So what we do then, we are asking the angels to enter into that person's consciousness. And we're basically telling the angels the problem because we need to be specific enough. They're suffering from migraines that continuously persist. And then we're asking the angels to do... Um, alignment spiritual adjustments uh on the neck area we're asking we've been really specific here now we're gonna say um like what the chiropractor does uh let's let's say we command the bones to move back into alignments the ligaments this is just an example now the ligaments the bones um the muscles the tendons all move back into perfect alignment and then you will find then and other th other issues you will if you're specific enough and and you're just the channel you will find that they will gain relief plus you will not be drained of any vital energy because you're not tuning into them or having any kind of emotion that knocks you out of spirit and you're back into your lower self and what because compassion opens our heart but if we're too compassionate or emotional we drop our power we need to be neutral so that we can blast um, healing energy from God straight to the person. So you'll find when you're specific in prayer and that you work with a higher power without trying to do it yourself, you will succeed in them feeling better and you feeling energized because you always get a touch of light from God when you help to heal others. How does that feel? I'm, I'm feeling energized. How does that feel to you? Yes, that's very helpful. It um, it allows me to have some, potentially some help. Yeah, be more specific in your prayers. That there's something else out there and letting it go. Um, I like that very much. It feels very, um, uh, it feels like a, a bit of a responsibility is lifted off of myself. Yes. Mm. Without yeah. having to feel like I'm just abandoning something. Yeah. Like yeah, you don't help. need to abandon it. Help. <laughs> certainly yeah. don't abandon sending healing. You are a valuable, valuable um channel for God. And God loves you and wants to help you. And the angels are going to empower you now because you're gaining insight into how not to affect your own energy and how to surround yourself. Do the like Pat is gonna read the Holy Spirit prayer after. Yeah, there are I ten am. weeks 
that you're going to uh, be able to use prayers before you send healing see pray you pray for yourself and the person before you send healing and then specific prayers for the healing and then believe it or not um prayers of thanksgiving for days after the healing and also when you get feedback from the person you will develop specific prayer power because you'll understand what's working and what's not you'll be amazed at how many people will be healed under you when you change tactics slightly and instead of trying to fix them yourself you let a higher power deal with that yeah thank you so very much thank you um i would love joanne i would love to read the prayer now if that's yeah, okay absolutely. with you absolutely. it is divine and yeah. you know for the moment uh let's talk about uh relief from fear and worry so this is the Holy Spirit prayer to receive divine protection and supernatural power from the Holy Spirit. And it begins uh, like this. I ask for the white light of the Holy Spirit to surround and protect me in all my ways. I ask for the white light of the Holy Spirit to comfort me in my times of need. I ask for the white light of the Holy Spirit to breathe new life into my worry-free ability. Breathe new life in my state of peace, my peace of mind, my knowing, my stepping into the world in full abundance for my greatest good. I willingly choose to acknowledge that the Holy Spirit of God is alive within me and that I am a brilliant divine light of God Thank you, God. Amen. It is done. It seems strange you saying it because those words were inspired to me. And sometimes I'm like, wow, I, I even forget I write that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I think it's interesting, you know, when you do hear um, someone read that. And I was reading that based on the instant message we got. And, you know, I would love to hear if there was anything that you would say differently in that. Um, you know, because I think a number of calls today were really around fear and worry, right, Joanne? Yeah, absolutely. We, we are, uh, you know, we're truly fearful of being powerful of being creative. We, we worry about what other people say and think. We worry about coming into our own power. We worry about not being able to meet our own needs, take care of our loved ones. We worry about our health. And you know, I will get a lot of people write to me and tell me how they worry all the time about their children being sick or hurt or harmed in some way. Worry and fear is an awful energy within the universe that, um, is sad to say that it's connected on a on a collective level that we are easily able to rise above it but while we're stuck in there drags us down so it dims our light so you know the minute that we can rise above these shadows of fear and worry and illusions because they're not the truth of our being that's why they're illusions they're not the truth of who we really are when we rise above that it's just like a weight a huge energetic weight lifted off our shoulders and from around our auras and we feel lighter in spirit we have more clarity of mind we have more vital energy in our bodies our immune systems um increase in power all these incurable diseases no longer touch us because we are enlightened spiritual powerful beings but it's just learning how to and it takes time and persistence yeah. and prayer learning how to rise above that collective field of um fear well one of the things that it does too is it, by having this in the book that you've beautifully written it is an enormous help. I mean, what was just shared today for those of you out there, uh, what I'm going to ask Jessica to do is pull this prayer off. If with your permission, what yes. I'd like to do is just pull this out and we'll, I would love to be able to post it if you don't mind. And then there are so many prayers in the book, Joanne. Thank you so much for today. Thank you. I've had an absolute great time and I hope that um, I've been, you know, able to help your listeners in some way. Absolutely. And me as well. Thank you for all that you do. The book is Angel Prayers. It's an A to Z guide. And what I read was just one 
one of the many prayers in here that we can literally stop in the moment of any day and ask the angels for help. Thank you all for tuning us in and turning us on. If you've missed any part of this, uh, it will replay later on tonight on Transformation Talk Radio. We'll see you, everyone. Have a beautifully, beautiful, beautiful angelic day. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.